What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here with another Mosaic Audiophile conversion for you. This one is in another Lamborghini Urus 2022, so let's get right to it. We'll show you another video on this attached to the end of this video of the concealed radar and laser cell system. So tune in for that video at the end of this one. So since we always hit you with the rear, if you've seen my other videos and followed everything, you've seen another version of this enclosure. This is kind of a more luxurious, jazzed up version of that. It is very similar to what we did in the other Urus, except this time we use matching 13K 2x2 twill carbon on the backside. In the other one, that was a laser pattern suede. Everything else is very similar. Uh, we have matching OEM leather that we imported. We have the matching black and the matching cream linen color. Up top, we have our Alcantara suede insert with that diamond pattern. If you look at the seats back here, you can see that same diamond pattern. So we took the same pattern to scale and we essentially laser etched it into our Alcantara suede. If you look at the grill down here at the bottom, that shape is the same exact shape as you can see here on the factory door, right? So we incorporated the same silver, same chamfer, same everything, and incorporated it into that, which that is going to be a vent for our two downfiring 10 WM subwoofers. Um, so those are the Utopia M 10 inch subs. Again, down firing. I can overlay some pictures here so you can see what it looks like underneath the enclosure. Uh, but it also vents out the back as well. So there's plenty of space for the air to move. I always enjoyed doing down firing subs and especially in this application, you see absolutely nothing. Uh, you could still fit a golf bag in here, like a full staff bag, you still fit groceries. Again, that's leather. All those materials are gonna be rugged. So plenty of room for groceries, plenty of room for a golf bag. I can remove this floor here completely. And then you can see the Brax DSP that we did in this one, carbon fiber panel, which is magnetically attached to this opening. Again, you can still see the, uh, the grill pattern here. And then we have different materials. This is a uh, grill mesh, so air can move through here. I'll try and pull it up with one hand. All right, so I'll just keep this here for now. And then under here, we have three Moscone Pro amps. We have two 110s, one for each subwoofer. We have a 210, that's for our mid base. We have a 430 back there, that's gonna be for our mid range and tweeter. And then we have behind there, which you can't see, we have two lithium ion 12 volt batteries to supplement. And then we have literally fans everywhere. Fan, fan, um, there is a fan underneath the DSP blowing up. The DSP is vented on the bottom. I can overlay a picture here of the DSP rack so you can see how air can circulate through there. And then of course back here we have fans, fan, fan. And then I made this rack of fans that goes over the 430 because the 430 is a class A amp. So that's gonna get hot and there's plenty of air circulation. You can grind this thing all day and it's not even hot to the touch. So. That's an overlook of everything. There's magnets embedded underneath all these white Tessa strips, um, magnets embedded into the underside of this panel here. So everything just slides in and goes back together. Of course, we have our lighting here. We have our LED cob lighting. That's gonna illuminate that edge. Again, we can see through that 3 8 acrylic to the carbon. And then of course we have more of the grill material up here. We have our lit Lamborghini logo here some red accents that really match what you see there on that center push to start cover. See so a really cool look, it's modular. All the angles match what you see there on the door panel. So if you're looking at the door panel, that is just kind of an extension of the same design elements and angles that you can find throughout the interior. I can overlay some more pictures here of the entire floor to see all the electronics laid out with our circuit breakers. Obviously we can still get to our circuit breakers there under the floor and our fusing. And then we, there's four fans behind the seats. 
So essentially there's a factory panel there where the factory amplifier was. There is a OEM grill that you can see here. And then we attach two fans on either side to push to pull. So essentially it is pulling air from the inside of the cabin and it is circulating the air through our amp rack back out through back into the interior. So it's constantly pulling fresh cool air into this, making sure that all of this equipment stays pretty cool. Uh, this is an Arizona car, so I knew heat would be a concern, which is why we have legitimately like 15 fans under here. So everything stays cool and it's gonna be a breeze and that's an overview of the back. So let's go check out the front. All right, now to run you through the interior. First, we'll start out with the custom A pillars, as you can see here. All right, so you got the pillars here. You can see on both sides, it's gonna be a factory match type of pillar. So the same grill material, there's the Focal Utopia M three and a half and tweeter up here in the pillar. So we redid the pillars, we added that body line. There was no speaker there before. There was a small speaker at the top using the same type of shape that you see there in the pillar. We utilize the same factory grill going in the same orientation as you see the door panel. Again, door closes right in, so couldn't really make this on axis. If it was on axis, it would look like, an, like a monstrosity, but this car images so well. The sound quality and the sound stage, the width, the depth actually is very, very, very amazing. This is probably a top three car. Looking at the conductor, we added this here. This is our DSP controller, which as you can see, that's the volume, right? The tip of the controller, we mimicked to what you see here on the factory knob. So that looks like an extension of the OEM. So when you're looking at everything, nothing looks like it's out of place, right? It looks like it fits right in. Of course, like with any vehicle, we have three separate presets. Preset one is gonna be the OEM radio. Let me take off the, okay, we can see the display now. Polarizer was on, so now it's a lot easier to see. Um, the preset number one is gonna be the factory radio. We're actually using a nav TV interface for a perfect digital input directly into our DSP. It's gonna play everything that you have on the factory radio and it's gonna to play to our DSP uh, with a perfect integration, right? So everything is just gonna be fully enhanced from the sound quality perspective. When it comes to preset number two, that's gonna be our direct Bluetooth directly to the DSP. Um, that's gonna give us a little bit better sound quality from our phone directly to our DSP because we're not gonna be utilizing the factory electronics. We're just utilizing a good digital connection directly to the DSP bypassing a lot of the factory electronics. I'm actually on that preset right now, right? And I'm connected to the factory radio at the same time. And you're being able to see on the display what I'm listening to. I could even hit track forward and it'll still change the track, right? So essentially I'm using the factory radio, but I'm also using the direct Bluetooth preset, right? So I'm getting the best sound quality, but I'm not realistically losing any features. The only feature that I'm losing is gonna be volume up and down from the main radio, where essentially this would be my main volume on preset two. This can work like this in any car. It's not just this car. Um, you know, even if you're using the factory CarPlay, you can still stream the Bluetooth directly to the processor with no issues. Preset number three is gonna be our Astell and Kern player. So this is our SP3000, which is gonna be our main source of music. That's gonna have all of our, I don't wanna say high resolution music, but I would say the best digital format tracks that you can play of any song that's out there. And these are gonna have the best dual DAX out of really any player that's out there. So this is gonna be our, our best source for the best sound stage, the, the best width, depth, separation, all of that kind of stuff. Tonality is going to be derived from this player here. So if you want the best in sound quality reproduction, I would highly recommend to get a player like this instead of utilizing your phone because your phone is only gonna have um, so much quality built into it. Because again, the phone isn't meant to be a music player, right? This is manufactured to be a music player. So check that out. It's the S SP3000 from Estel and Kern. I generally do these in every one of these installs like this. Pretty much imperative and it's a big night and day difference from coming from preset to your Bluetooth to something like this. Didn't mention the door speakers yet, the mid bass. That is gonna be a six inch Utopia M. 
and I can overlay a picture here of what it looks like behind the door panel. Essentially, the factory six was in an enclosure, so this is in an enclosure. Uh, it's not utilizing the door as the airspace for the woofer. It is in a sealed enclosure, which is mounted to the door. Um, so pretty easy and straightforward install on that. The rear's actually got the 165 WXP Utopia M two-way. So generally in most systems, we don't upgrade the rear speakers, but in this case, it was one of the things where that was the only thing left on the list to do an upgrade. So we just went ahead and did it. The rears are running off of Moscone Atom 04. And again, we already went over that the mid-range and tweeter are on a Moscone Pro 430, which is a class A amplifier. We have our mid bass on a Moscone Pro 210. And then we have each sub on its own Moscone Pro 110. That's pretty much it, right? It's actually way more simplistic than it looks but like i said in the beginning of the video follow the radar and laser system if you want to see what we did in this we did a really nice stealth stealth install that's the display for the escort red line uh, and if we and we also have an alp system in here so go ahead and check that out but thank you guys so much for watching the video like always uh make sure to comment like share the video if you haven't subscribed yet do that hit the alert bell uh, if you want to get notifications anytime we drop a new video, if you like this project, we've done many more, go ahead and check those out. If you want to check out our website, mosaicdesign.com, we have a full catalog there of all the vehicles that we've done, all the build log pictures, all the YouTube videos, uh, our podcast is associated on there so you can stream our podcast. Uh, and our podcast uh, streaming on Spotify is the old fashioned car audio podcast. If you're an enthusiast or you're an installer or, you know, you're just into audio period, go ahead and check that out. There's stuff for everybody. We talk about how you make audio great in 2023, the things that are necessary, uh, where you get a return on your investment, where you're wasting money. We have great guests on talking about the history of car audio. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure you follow our Instagram. Here's our three handles below. You can follow me on TikTok. I do a lot of short videos based on the installs that we do during the install. Go ahead and check that out at the Real Maddie S, at the Real Maddie S on Instagram, at the Real Maddie S on Threads. Um, really, any of the social media, same username. And most importantly, if you want to contact me for a job, you can contact me. Here's my phone number, followed by my email address. These are the two best points of contact to get a hold of me. Uh, you guys are the people responsible for keeping these jobs coming. This one came across the country fully from the West Coast. Uh, so again, thank you guys for watching these videos. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to do what I love and to hopefully uh, accentuate what it is you love and for you guys to get to experience something that you have never had to this level. So again, thank you guys for everything, for the opportunities. And until next time, I'll see you later.